Hey everybody, good morning. Uh, going along with our theme about um, healthy kind of substitutions for your sweet tooth, um, I am craving some fat, healthy fat, and something sweet, uh, and preferably chocolate. So um, instead of doing like chocolate ice cream or whatever, I am going to be making chocolate avocado pudding. And I'm going to show you how easy it is. It's best if you are able, I mean, you can eat it right away after you make it, but it's even better if you refrigerate it um, and have it after it's chilled just a little bit. Um, but they're both really good. And there's lots of options that you can add to it, which we'll talk about in just a minute. So let's get started. Um, I went ahead and have halved several of these large avocados. So there's three of them here and six halves. And we are just going to I have a Pyrex bowl that comes with a nice airtight lid, which is important with the avocado because you know it can go brown um, in the fridge real easily if it's not kept in some sort of airtight uh, container. So what we do is we're just going to um, scoop out all of the soft parts of the avocado. And I had already removed the pits when I halved them earlier. So these are all going in the bowl. And literally, I don't have anything written down as far as specific recipes. I really still want to encourage everyone to just play around with things. Um, I mean, if you want to write down something and make it more specific if you're that kind of person. But I find that uh, playing around with the taste and everything uh, tends to help. And, and I make different amounts of this stuff depending on how many avocados I have and uh, what I'm craving. Almost done here. Okay, so now you see we have a bowl full of avocado and to that I'm going to add I'm going to say roughly about a tablespoon of coconut oil per avocado. So we used three avocados, so about three tablespoons. Uh, maybe, like, you know what, let's do four. It just feels right because these were large avocados. That's going to help it solidify a little bit and add even another level of healthy fat to our mixture. Um, I tend to sweeten things with stevia, and I do not like the powdered stevia. It tends to have additives in it, and it's too processed. So I like to use liquid stevia. This one, I'm going to show it up close to the camera. It just happens to be one that I found at Trader Joe's. It has a really less of a bitter flavor than some of the stevias out there. Um, and we're just going to, typically you would do dropperfuls, but we're at the end of this bottle, so I'm just going to dribble tends to be sweeter than sugar, so I'm going to guess about four dropperfuls in this avocado pudding. But again, play around with it to your taste. You could add honey um, and other types of sweetener if you want. Because stevia does tend to have sometimes a little bit of a bitter edge to it, I like to add just a little bit of Himalayan sea salt so I'm just using a shaker to sprinkle a little bit on there and there's something about that sweet salty combination that is quite nice and then the final thing we're going to add is our chocolate so again this is going to be to your taste but a couple tablespoonfuls so I'm gonna say let's do four tablespoons of that too so we're kind of approximating, let's just say these three large avocados would be the equivalent of four like regular size avocados. So four tablespoons of the coconut oil, four dropperfuls of stevia, a couple shakes of the Himalayan salt, and four tablespoons of cocoa powder. And it, but of course, go back and doctor it up as you want. Um, the next step is going to be, and I hope this doesn't go flying all over the kitchen because this bowl is not very big. You know what, before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and... I'm just going to stir this just a little bit with a spoon because the powder's on top and I just have a feeling that when I turn this uh, mixer on, that powder is going to go flying up in the air. Alright, 
So just to make it smooth and creamy, we're going to take a, a pan mixer and just blend all this together really well. and scrape the sides. Just make sure that everything gets blended in. I'm going to bring this over just to show you how rich and creamy this is. You can see how thick it is. It's kind of like the consistency of chocolate frosting and it is, um, then there's some things that you can add to it. So what I like to do, if you want variety, I like variety. So um, you could add almond extract to have like a chocolate almond flavor, just a little bit, maybe like a quarter teaspoon you don't need too much with this um, you could do vanilla you could also add peppermint if you like a chocolate mint um, I also like chocolate orange so you could add an orange extract and then if you like a little texture it's really nice to add some crunched up nuts like almonds um, or uh, flaked coconut and those kind of add a little flavor sorry I'm about to Thank you. sneeze great wonderful in this video um, <laughs> just shows it's just like you're in my kitchen with me in real life. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, so you could add some coconut and it really adds flavor and texture. <laughs> Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you for listening to this video and I hope to have some more suggestions for you. Oh, and the other thing you can do is spin these into, um, I hope I can edit those out. Spoon these into individual bowls. <laughs> like so. Because those will make a really nice, they, and they serve nice for guests. The other thing I wanted to let you know is um, my son hates avocado. He's uh, 20 now. And at one time, but he loves sweets, and I did not tell him that I made this, and I gave it to him, and he thought it was like a chocolate pudding, and he ate every bite, and he loved it, and then when I told him it was avocado, he got so mad at me. So you can fool um, your children if you're trying to get them to eat something healthy. Um, they, in my natural health world, when I listen to the experts, they cannot emphasize enough how good it is to get some healthy fat into your diet. I'm kind of on a 